lately we are seeing a few trends like um, lesbians gays and so on and the, and the court has also approved uh, uh, it is their right to be in such a way and now what i see is uh, there are children i saw I, the reason why i'm asking this question is i have seen one youtube video in which a youtuber is asking questions to uh, uh, children say they are in the 15 to 17 years of age and they say that they are yet to uh, discover whether they are a lesbian or a gay or a straight or something and what do you see what do you feel about this trend sir how what is the future implication of uh, this particular trend see first of all the bigger issue is uh, animalistic sexuality itself given the way we are given the point of evolution we are standing at how important really is sexuality on one hand we are we are you know testing the limits of the universe we are searching for extraterrestrial life we are sending probes to distant planets these are the kind of things we are doing on the other hand we are rushing after males and females as animals too hmm even animals have some moderation so whether you rush after a woman being a man whether you rush after a woman or you run after a man the thing is you are still running after a body are you getting it and is the body your primary identity the body is indeed the primary identity of animals or is discretion and thought and consciousness or understanding are they your primary identity if a man is physically alive but just not able to think do you even call him alive and let's say physically he is doing everything that an animal does he can eat he can breathe he can walk he can make sounds without having any language and he may even exhibit sexual excitation but would you even call that person really alive if that person has no discretion no thought we call a person dead when he is brain dead right if you can you have you may have everything else in the body functioning for you but if the brain which is related to the mind if it is not there then you are no more so if the body is not your primary identity your primary identity is consciousness you are dead if your consciousness falls below a certain level and stays there hmm? and 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 your 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 lungs could be kept going through a ventilator but you would still not be called alive so a consciousness is who we are and if you are conscious then you know very well what to do with the body the body then follows consciousness the body then is is a servant of consciousness as it should be instead if you allow bodily tendencies to rule with very little consciousness then one would do all kinds of things in life a woman may run after a man a woman may sleep with a woman and you would want to think that the distinction between these two cases is the most important thing in life i take this as trivia if you are with an undeserving man how is that any better than being with an undeserving woman in both the cases your life is being spoiled 
in both the cases you are subjecting yourself to very adverse company that would spoil your mind and mostly this happens because of our animalistic tendencies one person may may just find that the the old primitive evolutionary tendencies within are exhibiting themselves in some way huh? that way might be that you you want to have you want to have sex with the opposite gender that's the way prakriti has raised you because when you have sex with the opposite gender then you can procreate but what's so holy about being attracted to the opposite gender please tell me in no way am i insinuating that it, that it's holier to be attracted to the same gender no that's not the point the point is why do you want to take this issue so seriously because when you are taking this issue very seriously then the real issue is getting masked the real issue is bodily enslavement itself why are we so enslaved to the body because you see the the previous question was on economics all this economic activity that is destroying us from within is destroying the environment is destroying the entire planet itself is because of body identification we want to consume consume and consume hmm? and consciousness does not consume the body consumes i want more furniture i want more clothes i want a bigger car i want a bigger house no consciousness is hardly concerned about how many square meters you squat on but the body looks at all that i mean i mean a bigger bedroom ha huh? because i have a bigger body and such things so when you you make the straight versus gay lesbian issue very important then indirectly you are making the body very important because be it the straight case or the gay case both cases have the body at their center don't keep the body at the center of your thought seek to elevate your thought and then you will not need any instructions or directives then you will know what to do with the body then there would be no need to form a policy hmm legal or moral regarding whom to approach whom to sit with and who to sleep with as an adult it's your sovereign right to decide on that just that that right needs to be backed and exercised by a very aware mind if you know nothing of life if you cannot think properly if you have no discretion then any decision that you make in life will be flawed including the decisions in the sexual domain